everybody, this is a Freedman Adventures late update. We have just talked to the Polaris Supreme. They have limited out a 90 to 180 pound bluefin tuna. Tremendous fishing. There was kite fish, there was daytime fish, there was fly line fish, there was nighttime fish. It simply doesn't get any better. And remember, a week ago, the Tribute had one yellowfin tuna in addition to limits of bluefin for them. Was that yellowfin tuna a flash in the pan? I'm not so sure anymore for Yellowfin Tuna on the Polaris Supreme in addition to the limits of BFT. It can't get any better than this. Tremendous fishing going on. Look at the expression on these guys' face. And you know they're having fun. Yo-Yo Iron, Yellowtail, San Quentin, Baja, California is a throwing forkies on the deck. And you can look at the bait tank and see the variety of fish they're catching. Bonita and rockfish and yellows down there in beautiful San Quentin, 140 miles south of the border. The yo-yo iron has been the way to go. A small heavy jig that you sink deep and wind on fast and you are on. Great fishing for K and M sport fishing. San Quentin, Baja, California. Hopefully that's headed to SoCal soon. One to ten. What, Tanner? Is that a fly line fish as well? Yeah. Very nice. Oh, it's starting to look like the right time of day. <laughs> Good morning, my dear friends, and welcome to beautiful Surfside, California. It is so great to be with you here this beautiful Friday morning. And man, is there some incredible fishing going on. We're seeing it south of the border in St. Quentin, as you already have seen with those boys throwing those yellows on. We've got bluefin tuna in Ensenada, along with more yellowtail. Really great signal down there. And here in Southern California, well, it has been a start to the 2024 season that is really unbelievable with copious amounts of halibut and now wide open bluefin tuna and even yellowfin tuna showing up. It's really going to be an amazing year. You know what time it is. It's time for the morning briefing. Good morning, my friends. Oh, is that good? Let me do that one more time. Mm, so good and so delicious and so great to be here with you all. Remember to hit that like button. We deeply appreciate it when you're able to do that. Share this video with a friend. Subscribe to the Freedman Adventures YouTube channel. And of course, tick the bell. You'll be notified when there is new content. You can also catch us for a little bit longer on TikTok. Also, Instagram and Facebook, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts. Man, this is really incredible stuff that is going on. we got some big events this weekend. Hey, I get to celebrate my birthday tomorrow with all of you right here on this very beach because we're going to put the wood to them here. Tomorrow morning, we've got a surf fishing event where you can come on down with the family and have some fun right here on the beach at 11 a.m. If you need details on that, all you have to do is send me a text. Put surf fishing in the subject line, and I'll send you exactly how to find us tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. until 11 but you're welcome to come early and stay late. That's up to you. And if you'd like to sign up, sign up for a Freeman Adventures charter, Greg Bates will be here doing that, as well as having some Freeman Adventures shirts available for all of you. So if you'd like to purchase a Freeman Adventures shirt tomorrow, right here on the beach, they will be available to you. And also, then on Sunday, I'll be at Bass Pro Shops Rancho Cucamonga at 12 noon with a great surf fishing seminar. More importantly, I get to shake your hand and say thank you for your great support. It means the world to me. I cannot thank you enough. I couldn't be more grateful on my birthday for each and every one of you. All right, let's jump into this because it is absolutely incredible. Down there in Cabo San Lucas, continue pretty good bill fishing with some good striped marlin. There's even some sailfish around. Yellowfin tuna, if you find the right pod of dolphin, and also some dorado and occasional wahoo going on down there. Down in San Quentin, we've been talking about yellowtail for months down there. It bit in the wintertime. It's still biting down there. It's mixed grade, as you can see by the lead in. Those were smaller yellows. 
but at times they get on that big 18 to 25 plus pound forky and it's biting the yo-yo iron down there really well and also you've got links and reds and big bonita really fabulous and not only do we look 140 miles south of the border to san quentin to see how great their fishing is and how you can join guys like can m sport fishing down there drive down there right now and have a ball but it's also a preview of what's to come here to southern california it's anata our friends at black fin sport fishing you better believe it nacho went out and caught the first blue fin of the year for them He's out right now scouring, looking for more bluefin tuna. And, of course, we're in constant communication with him. And Foca, captain there out of uh, Botes Juanitos in beautiful Ensenada, came up with some great yellowtail action yesterday down there around the Santo Tomas area, about 15 to 19 miles south of Ensenada, where they're catching also copious amounts of rockfish along with that yellowtail and big bonita folk are doing his thing we love that guy man he's a hard fisherman and a hard worker so we continue to see some really good stuff going on down there in that area as that is again a preview of what's headed our way into southern california we have got some magnificent bluefin tuna fishing going on out of san diego i'm going to get into the scores with you in a moment but i've got to make the point to you that last year sometimes it was a daytime bite or a nighttime bite in fact you could be out on a trip last year where you just were waiting for the daytime to go away because they wouldn't bite you'd see them and they wouldn't bite this year so far it's different they are biting in the daytime they're biting at night they're biting the kite they're biting the fly line bait they're biting the 400 gram knife jigs it's really a heck of a start to this 2024 season and it just continues to amaze polaris supreme as you can see by the lead in limits a big bluefin tuna 90 to 180 pound BFT. Those are world class fish. We are the envy of the sport fishing world here in Southern California, and it just seems to have no end. And guys like Danny Cadota, and I hope you got to meet Danny's family last night when we did a live show with him. That was a great show. Go back and check that out. Guys like Danny Cadota have been saying the bluefin, they're not going anywhere, they're here. Just all we got to do is send some boats out there and find them. And sure enough, the Supreme did that. Now, we asked the rhetorical question a day or so ago, would there be any more yellowfin tuna? Yellowfin tuna are a warm water loving species. And you normally if just about never see them in SoCal or northern Baja in March. It is very uncommon to see that. Now, the tribute about a week ago had a yellowfin. And we started to think, hell, oh, is that just one lost fish or what? But Mike Pritchard, the captain, said, I saw more fish. I don't know what that means, Mike said, but I saw more fish. And now the Supreme adds four more yellowfin tuna to this crazy season. So not only did he have limits of those big, giant bluefin, but he had four yellowfin tuna. And that is some pretty crazy stuff, if you ask me. Speaking of the tribute, yesterday I had no trouble at all getting a bite, but they had a lot of trouble hanging on to the fish because there was some awfully big bluefin tuna as previously mentioned on the Player Supreme and the Tribune got into that big great bluefin tuna and they are tough and hard to hang on to. You've got fish pushing up toward 200 pounds right now. Those are superior, big, great bluefin tuna, and you better be tackled up properly with the two-speed reels. At least 100-pound spectra. I like 130, and your jigs better have 200-pound mono, or I should say floral. Either way, you've got to have 200-pound leader material because these are big fish. They are tough fish, and the tribute yesterday had a hard time hanging on. They got 17 on the deck. They may have more fish. We'll be checking with them a little bit later, and they had an additional four yellowfin tuna. Unheard of during this time of the year. Yellowfin prefer that warmer water. It's just March here in SoCal, and it's pretty crazy to see that happening. So really great stuff going on. The bites were easy yesterday on the Tribute. Hanging on to the fish was a whole different matter. And how about the Pacific Dawn out of Fisherman's Landing in San Diego? 16 bluefin tuna over 100 pounds yesterday. That is long-range 
style fishing in day and a half range of San Diego. It simply can't get any better for the start of the 2024 season. And now you know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about hanging on to these beasts as the Pacific Dawn for the second trip in a row in the double digits on the 100 plus pound bluefin tuna. Really incredible stuff. There's still time for you to join us on our five day trip and that looks like it's going to be a magnificent trip. We're on board the luxurious Independence out of Point Loma Sword Fishing, April 4th through the 9th. If you'd like to join us, there it is. Give them, there it is. Give them a call today. Paulina, say hi to her for me. Or go to www.independentsportfishing.com and jump on that trip. That's going to be a good one. Don't forget, our charter list is now available. We've got a reverse 2.5 day trip on the Apollo in June. That has got white sea bass, halibut, rockfish, yellowtail, bluefin tuna written all over it. The options are immense on that trip. And we have some 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. trips on board the El Patron out of Long Beach Sport Fishing and a great trip on May the 31st up there out of Ventura Sport Fishing on board the Island Spirit. All those charters are available. They're going to go like that. So if you want that list, just send me a text right now. Put charter in the subject bar and I'll send you the list. 657-227-645 now. Absolutely incredible start to this season as it just continues to amaze me. The Royal Polaris is on a long range trip and they're having really great yellowfin tuna action. It's been very, very good for them. They're having a dream trip on the RP, a 16-day trip down the Baja Peninsula where they've been cranking good numbers of yellowfin tuna. There's also been days where they've had some really good wahoo fishing, but the focus has been on the YFT, as you can see, and that is a great signal right there. I don't know how this long-range season can get much better either. We could throw in a few bigger fish, perhaps, but for the most part, the action has been steady, steady, steady. What a great long-range year for the San Diego-based fleet. Here it has been. All right, let's jump across the border now into Los Estados Unidos here in the United States where we continue to see guys focusing on the halibut. Now, of course, the 800,000 pound elephant in the room is the weather. We have some weather headed our way. And normally when I talk about weather, I don't even care about rain that much. I should probably mention it once in a while. In fact, rain is very likely on Saturday. It looks like it'll be a light rain. We may even have it fall on us here at our surf fishing event, but no wind until the afternoon, and then it's going to get downright nasty. And Sunday is going to be really, really nasty, like unfishably nasty, it looks like to yours truly. So we'll keep our eyes on it. Some guys are even throwing the towel in on trips that are departing this evening because that wind is going to manifest itself tomorrow afternoon, and we're going to be watching that very closely for you all. Good morning, Lupe. Good to see you. So a lot of wind heading our way. It's going to get downright nasty on Sunday and push into Monday. I want you to be very, very careful. And that includes you guys who want to fish the surf. You got to be very, very careful when we get inclement weather like that. That big windy weather can really mess things up. So I did want to mention that to you all. Some guys are going to try to go Friday night and hopefully they'll get the day in and have some good fishing, but it's going to get nasty for sure for Sunday. We're watching that very, very closely for you all. All right, El Patron has been at Catalina Island. They've been focusing their attention there, and they've been coming up with, most of the time, limits, as Chief said, some halibut to go along with it. Pretty darn good fishing there at Cat for the El Patron. They are out of Long Beach Sport Fishing. Give them a call if you'd like to join them. I think they have a little bit of room on their Saturday trip, and uh, you'll be able to jump on that. That could no, that is sold out, as a matter of fact. I think Saturday is already in the book. So we'll watch Cat as it has been very, very interesting here lately. Now, I'm going to start you out in San Diego. There's some pretty good bass fishing going on out of Fisherman's Landing yesterday. They had a decent amount of sand and calico bass, mostly sand bass. And once again, you're fishing with about 20-pound fluorocarbon. That works really well. Sometimes you're fishing a sliding egg sink or small. Sometimes you're going to a four-ounce torpedo. It depends upon wind current and depth. And of course, making a friend with a crew member will help you there. They're also catching sculpin, whitefish, 
as we are up and down the coast and many guys are focused in on that sheephead which opened up for catching here in SoCal on March the 1st. Now, our rockfish season is currently closed, but it's right on the horizon, everybody. April the 1st, rockfish season is gonna open up and that's gonna be a lot of fun. Randy Morales fishing on the Western Pride with that nice goat, nice sheephead, nice vieja. Can I come up with another one for uh, sheephead? Really nice sheephead fishing has been going on. The native sun yesterday, They've been fishing halibut out of 22nd Street Landing, and they, I guess, deserve to have one down day. They had only one halibut yesterday, but today's another beautiful day. I like what I'm seeing. Did I see a sea lion poke its head up out there or a dolphin? Not sure. Maybe you'll be able to tell me later because I can't keep my eyes on it, but something poked its head up out there behind me as the Pelican Patrol is also flying overhead, and there will be a grunion run here on March the 25th. So slow day on the native sun. This local halibut bite has not been as wide open as it once was, but the sun has had an absolutely phenomenal year out of 22nd Street Landing in San Pedro. They've got to be pushing up toward 200 legal fish for the season for them. And the season started last year and has extended into right now. It has been absolutely phenomenal for those guys. The victory yesterday, out of Long Beach Ford Fishing, and they continue their Sheephead Derby. They have a nice Sheephead Derby going on. You buy a ticket out of the boat, and I think you're automatically in 40 guys, 80 goats, 80 Sheephead. That's limits. 165 on the Whitefish, 100 Sculpin. Can't beat that. Dana Wharf Sword Fishing yesterday with Sheephead and Whitefish and Sculpin. You're always going to get treated right at Dana Wharf Sword Fishing. Their customer service is really something to marvel at. So really good stuff going on up there in the Channel Islands. Island Spirit, our dear friend Daniel Hottaway is running the boat. He'll be out on Saturday and he still has a little bit more room for you. In fact, Daniel may join us this evening with a question and answer interview live. So you'll be able to ask some questions and figure out what's going on up there in that neck of the woods. Saturday, they still have run out of Ventura. Sport fishing, remember, a little bit more time left. If you book before April the 1st and you use the code PRESEASON20, they'll knock 20% off your fare. So get your calendar out, figure out when you're going to fish on either the Island Spirit or the California out of Ventura sport fishing and save 20% on your trips. Look for Daniel later tonight. They've had halibut up there. They've had white fishing, good sheephead fishing. It's been pretty darn good up there in that neck of the woods as we'll continue to watch it right here on this beach as previously mentioned. We'll be doing our surf fishing thing and it should be a lot of fun, 8 a.m. to 11. Tomorrow, send me a text, I'll send you the info and we'll see you here on the beach tomorrow morning. Gonna to be a lot of fun. You can get shirts here, Freedom Adventure shirts as well as sign up for a charter and just catch some surf fish for God's sakes. That should be a lot of fun. We've caught Cor Corvina and I'm speaking in general about SoCal and even Northern Baja, good bar perch fishing. Uh, here yesterday, Dan uh, Lightfoot and Michael Limon just picked a couple little tiny bar perch, but hopefully we'll see Corvina, yellowfin croaker. There has been some halibut. Somebody should pick off a flatty tomorrow on my B-Day. Come on, a nice legal flatfish. I'll take it up there and make fish tacos out of it right away. That should be something that's in the cards. And throwing a chrome crocodile, five-eighths, three-quarter an ounce like that. Throwing that crocodile should result in some yellow fin croaker. And once again, this is perfect. Like right now, you're making your cast and you're coming through. And if a wave is going to break, you're going to time that cast so that when the wave breaks, you make your cast behind it and you come through all that white water where those surf fish are presumably looking around for a clam or a mussel or a sand crab. And that shiny bait comes through there and they jump on it. And let me tell you, that's a lot of fun. And those halibut also like it. Don't forget big fish bait and tackle. They'll give you 10% off anything you want to buy that's not on sale down there on our surf fishing day. So Saturday morning, stop by, get some ghost shrimp, get some worms. If you need any other tackle, you'll save 10%. Say hi to the guys at Big Fish Bait and Tackle. They have a derby going on where you can win a free custom rod right now for the biggest bar perch. You've got to have the right ruler. I've got them for tomorrow. 
I've got them. So if we get a big bard, we're going to put the ruler out. We're going to inscribe the date in the sand. We're going to take a photo. We're going to upload it to the Big Fish Bait and Tackle Instagram page. And one of our guys is going to win the Bard Perch Derby. Wouldn't that be something special? So right here tomorrow, we will see you. And then Sunday at Bass Pro Shops, 12 noon. You can even sleep in. And then come out to BP in Rancho Cucamonga, 12 noon seminar and a chance and an opportunity for me to spend some time with you, to meet you, as well as thank you for all of your great support. It would mean a lot to me to see you at Bass Pro Shops, 12 noon on Sunday. Don't forget it's tax season, and that means you need to turn to a man you can trust to eliminate your past tax worries or just get rid of your worries about taxes this year. Tim Marquez, a best income tax. Tim's a great guy. He'll be here at the surf fishing day tomorrow. So make sure you say hi to Tim and he can help you. Super great guy. And heating and air conditioning needs. You need to go to our friend John Lopez at Efficient Heating and Air Conditioning. There is nobody better than John. Give him a call today. Lobster season is over. There's nothing left of the lobster season because it is currently close. But it was a great one. In fact, they had some Great last minute lobster fishing before the midnight deadline, and it was truly spectacular. Gale Force Triton, several other sport boats, private boaters, kayakers, all cashed in on some really great stuff as pelicans now are hitting the water, and that means that chrome crocodile is going to work tomorrow. I see pretty good evidence of pelicans up this way and nothing down that way, but things are looking really fishy here with that grunion run set for March the 25th. Sometimes that grunion starts to stage up early and those uh, pelicans know how to exploit that as they jump on those little fish. All right, man, I'll tell you what a year this is. What a year this has become. It's absolutely phenomenal. If you'd like to fish with me on the Freeman Adventures trip, make sure you send that text out right now. Come down here tomorrow morning. We have a list of the trips you can jump on you can sign up and we'll take care of you shirts available tomorrow down here maybe even hats i have to look into that really really quick and also uh of course i'll be out there at bass pro shops on sunday with a great presentation for you hey in the meantime have a great and beautiful morning as we get ready for the weekend as always it's a pleasure to be with you and spend time with you i'll see you tomorrow right here on the beach or sunday at bass pro if not I hope to see you somewhere else really, really soon. Have a great Friday and a wonderful weekend, my friends.